12 wheels of 2022, baby. We Hell cut down the yeah. list because it was getting really long. So we're giving you the narrow, the focused, the calculated list of 2022, the most popular wheels we see sold on our website. And then a little sprinkle and a little razzle dazzle of our favorite wheels. Absolutely. So four year anniversary. I got you some. What'd you give me? Well, you know, it's only right, you know, every other video we've done. Are you proposing? Oh, yes. Yeah! <laughs> That's right. We chug a beer every single time. So, Gels, are you ready to get into this? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, All right. wheel wall. Ready? Yep. Mine was empty pretty fast because like it's all over the floor. And the wheels. All right, let's get into this. <laughs> Starting off the list, we're doing it right. Now this is an oldie but a goodie. I think it's made it on almost all of our lists. We do have some new ones for this here, but we have number 12, the Koenig Hypergram. Now this is a lightweight, more performance oriented wheel. Mm -hmm. It's strong, it's flow formed. It's insanely light. Looks nice. Yeah, and it, it truly is light. What's nice about this, it's big brake friendly, and not only that, it's available in a ton of sizes, which is why this one is so popular. All the way from 15 yeah, inches to 18 Miata inches. Guys. Yeah. yeah, Miata guys love this wheel. It's super light and it comes in the sizes they need. And yeah, it goes all the way up to 18, so. And it makes me really hyper. <laughs> Coming at number 11 on the list, we have the SSR GTX 04. Now this is the newest addition to SSR's GTX lineup. This came out just over a year or so ago, kind of the tail end of 2020, if I remember correctly. The newest in the lineup for the GTX right. series. Yeah, and it is absolutely killer. It's a slapping design, multi-spoke design. We got some super thin spokes on here. When I'm looking into it, they made this cross-sectional area, so if you were to cut this down the spoke, they made it as thin as they possibly could, which saves a ton of weight. It's still super strong, and of course, they got a ton of milling on the backside, near the back pad, and of course, on the back of the spoke to save weight uh, there as well. And of course, you know, a lot of people know SSR for their multi-piece line of wheels, but these go just as hard. These are just as an amazing uh, set of wheels for a monoblock wheel that you can get, and you know, it's a well-deserved spot, the number 11 on the list. SSR slaps. Okay, so next up at number 10 on the list, we have the Rotiform KPS. Fortunately, we don't have this one in-house, so place the B-roll. This is a wheel meant for Euro. It's obviously Rotiform is definitely more focused on the Euro side of things, and it looks good on those big body bitches. I'm talking Audis. I'm talking Volkswagens. You're gonna see this come in 18 to 20 inch sizes. So it's definitely those bigger boy sizes that looks good on bagged cars or stance cars in general. It has, you know, just a slim spoke design that looks pretty Wide simplistic, set. but when popped on a car, woo, looks really good and fills out those wheel arch as well. Wouldn't be a wheel list without talking about Rotiform. All right, number nine on the list, we got the NQ Ryzen. Now, this is kind of like the underdog of the NQ wheel lineup. I know like the RBF1 takes like the top spot, really kind of overshadows everything else in their lineup. But sure. the Ryzen is just as cool, all yeah. right? It's manufactured using the same exact processes as the RPF1, so you get those same lightweight properties and everything like that. Their MAT technology, or most advanced technology, is like the weirdest acronym I've ever heard for a manufacturing most process. Advanced. Technology. It's the most Japanese thing I've ever heard. Yeah. But yeah, they manufacture the same way they do the RPF1 and you get a different spoke design. So, um, you know, like a lot of your friends out there got the RPF1, uh -huh. you want something a little different, but you still want something that's performance oriented. So something to get you that street cred. Yeah. And it comes in less than the RPF1 as far as price. So here you have number nine, the Enki Ryzen. We'll get you some. Number eight on the list is a heater. It, we're coming in with the Rays lineup. We're talking about the Gram Light 57DR. It must be light, it's invisible. Ah, cut to B-roll. This is a fantastic Japanese wheel. Anything from Rays is obviously gonna be a little more performance oriented, a little more higher end on the price, but you're paying for that quality and that timeless look. These wheels look phenomenal on anything. As you can see, we've kind of went for more of a functional use for these wheels. But again, like if you threw these on a stance car, it's gonna look good too. So it's very universal. And the awesome thing about Gram lights is they come in amazing colors from the reds to the blues to the gun metals. They turn out amazing. They're super cool looking. And again, performance in mind. We're gonna have big brake clearance. We're gonna have lightweight and you get that street cred of the Ray's name, the Gram lights on your car. Big scene points there. 
No need to squeeze wheel boxes and loose tires in your car just to drive around and spend even more money for them to get mounted and balanced. Hey, make sure to check out our wheel and tire packages and not only that, you can save on mounting and balancing. Not only that, but we got free shipping too. Get the work, what are you doing? Get the hell, get out of here. Come on now. You know, I'm thinking we need to make an order of these Japanese wheels because we just can't seem to find them on the wheel wall and we should change that. But coming up next, we got the old Volk TE37. You oh, know it had to end up somewhere is. on the list. It has to. I mean, yeah. it's like the number one wheel of all time. Yeah. Like it, it will forever be probably on this list. But the mm. TE37, absolutely iconic. They work for pretty much everything and you can get them in a bunch of different variations. You can mm -hmm. get them with a little more lip, you can get them a little bit more concave, a bunch of different Everything. variations of them. You can get them in insane colors. Again, Rays kills it with the colors in bulk. You know, they, they do an incredible job getting these wheels to look absolutely incredible. And you can pretty much put them on everything. You know, it goes, to say, goes without saying, D37s look good on everything. It's absolutely true, but especially S2000s. Yeah, and not only that, but we've been working hard to get more inventory of those. So we're not at our warehouse right now, but our warehouse is packed with some TE37s, yeah. and that's been huge for us, and we're really excited. Next up, number six on the list, brand new for Conte. We're talking about the Astro, and it gets here Monday, and it's we're not filming on Monday. Jeez. So we missed this one by this much, but we'll throw up the B-roll, check it out. This wheel looks super dope. It's exciting to see Conte drop a new wheel and I think this one's gonna be a huge hit for 2022. It's a monoblock wheel, looks really good. The white finish, in my opinion, oh, hot damn. And I'm a little biased because I've seen it on some A90 <laughs> Supras and it got me all pumped up and razzed up for the Astro. We're gonna be getting those in shortly and I'm excited to get my hands on them and just lick it and stuff. What? But, uh, I mean, test it uh, next. Breaking into the top five of the list, we've gone through some big wheels, all right? Some yeah, big, big hitters in the wheel industry. We're talking about Volk, we got Rays, we got Enki, we got all of those, SSR. But, you know, not a lot of us have all the money for all that big name, all right? And Heard again, that. we've seen the Avid AV20 kind of like come out on top when yep. it comes to like the affordable entry wheel, level wheel yeah. lineup, right? So the entry level wheel lineup, you're looking for your first set of wheels. You don't want to go spend, you know, two grand on a set of wheels. So a lot of people end up with like something like the Avid One AV20. You can get the same fitment. You can get a lot of the similar finishes and things like that, but you're only spending, you know, less than a thousand dollars for a set of wheels, which is more in a lot of people's budget. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, we see this one higher up on the list is because like a lot of people will go pick these up versus a $2,000 set of wheels not saying there's anything wrong with that but that's just how it is absolutely so the avid one av20 i think we'll see move a ton again this year you know the finishes are good they mm -hmm. fit a lot of vehicles they did a good job picking out the sizes yes. and offsets and things like that so yeah definitely one that we'll see a lot of in 2022 true all right, number four on the list is a classic. We talked about it there a little it bit is. early. Here it is. It's kind of like the T37. Again, come out on top. It's the Enki RPF1, another one that has historically made this list and will continue to make the list because of its extremely lightweight. It weighs nothing. It looks good. It looks timeless. You're going to see these on the autocross cars when you go to the meet. You're going to see these on car show cars too. They go on everything and you'll probably see a lot of them because they come in at a pretty solid price. You can get them in every single size you'd ever want. The finishes are fire too. And yeah, it's a timeless wheel. It fits right in with those other Japanese wheels that are on this list that just look good on everything. They're decent price, good quality. It's gonna be on the list every year. You knew it was coming. RPF1. RPF1. Coming in hot, number three, the Anovia Elder. You're probably thinking, what the heck is an Anovia Elder? Well, it's Artisa. We're now Anovia now, and this is considered the Artisa collection of Anovia wheels. So we've moved past just directional wheels over there at Anovia and wanted to make sure that, you know, we kept the wheels that you guys loved as the directional designs as the Artisa collection. So we're labeling this as the Anovia Elder, but it's part of the Artisa collection of the wheels. But this one sure. was an absolute heater in 2021. Mm -hmm. You guys ate this one up. Oh yeah. So thank you guys so much for you know following us and following our 
you know, journey as we release our own wheels and things like that. It's been an incredible time, but the Elder has taken the cake as the number one wheel of last year for Anovia. And it's mm -hmm. obviously yeah, for a lot of reasons. Why, so gels. we got pretty much every size known to man from like 18s and 19s. We're gonna be releasing more sizes this year mm -hmm. to expand to like the Mark V Supras, BMWs, Audis. We got 20s coming. Oh, it's baby. gonna be a and big then, hey, deal. Too, and this is a big one. Light. This is a big one. Yeah, so lightweight, obviously direction. We took the deco direction in this uh, consideration here. So you got a left and right side. So both side of the cars look the same. You know, it does it all super, super well. And it comes in at an incredibly affordable price point, right around $1,100, depending on the size. And yeah, you know, they just continue to crush it. All right, number two on the list. We are getting to the final ones here. And you're probably thinking, Dakota Gels, how would you not? There's one brand in mind and just hasn't came on the list. How could this be? It's here. It's the Work oh, oh. Emotion D9R. You need to put the work on the list. Do work, baby. Rest in peace, Big Black. I miss them every day. Anyways, the Emotion D9R is a classic and looks amazing on everything. Again, these Japanese wheels, big brake clearance, slim spokes, and quality material. It looks phenomenal. And you can get that work name without breaking the bank. All right, you're not buying those three piece Meisters. You get a nice mono block setup that is gonna look amazing on your car and it's gonna be functional, whether you want it to be functional or you can take it to the show. You know, all race cars can be show cars, but not all show cars can be ring car. You said that backwards. Race car, you said backwards. Race car, you can say backwards or forwards. That's the joke. Yeah, get out. I'm ready for number one. You know what's a real bummer? What? We don't get to get like a lot of new wheels, especially of lately. There are a lot of these wheels, they've been out for like a couple years or sure. so. A couple of them like recently came out, but like nothing really new. Okay. So we made something new. We made something lightweight. We made something to kick back to the 90s JDM era. We made it. In Chrome in 2022, the Anovi Akato coming in at number one spot for 2022. I am super pumped about this wheel, if you can't tell. This thing has been a work in progress for the majority of 2021 to cut as much weight as possible. It's officially coming in as our lightest weight wheel for Anovia wheels, rivaling the NKR PF1, beating the TE37 and some Ooh, devices. Woo, 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 and, woo. and, and, we heard the Miata crew, they were all in our comments and our teams were like, 15 inch wheels, please, more by 100. We heard you, we got you. These are coming in 15 by eight. We got the 17, 17 by eight, 17 by nine. And of course, 18s from 18 by eight and a half all the way up to 18 by 10 and a half. So we're gonna see these, expected a lot of Miatas, S chassis, things like that out in the drift community because that's oh. what we were kind of targeting after. So these took a lot of the principles, the same principles that built Artisa last year and evolved into a Novia. So we got, you know, the recessed lip in the front for durability. We got the extremely lightweight. We got the uh, stuff shaved away on the back, on the back of the spokes in the back mm -hmm. pad and of course killing it with the finishes i'm super excited to bring in chrome again for 2022 you know you don't see a ton of it out there anymore but i absolutely love it i think it's absolutely killer so the anovia kano absolutely excited about we're going to be coming in right around that same price point as all of our other wheels around a thousand to eleven hundred dollars not bad at all probably a little bit more for the chrome running around like oh, eleven okay. hundred or okay. so um more on the higher still end not but bad. still not terrible for an 18 up to an 18 by 10 and a half inch super lightweight strong wheel in chrome in 2022 so dakota with that being said, let's ring in the new year. Alrighty, that is the top 12 wheels of 2022. If we missed any, make sure to comment down below because I'm going to go through and read them. I want to hear what you guys like, but let's wheel slap this one out. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We done. Hello.